us about the love of Christ? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. The Bishop of Namirembe Diocese has today laid hands on 81 confirmants at King's College Budo. The Bishop is on his final visits around the diocese as he looks forward to retirement come December 8th. The bishop noted that this is the time to give thanks to the Lord. He encouraged the newly confirmed students to stay firm in their faith. It's a time for us to rejoice and be glad in the presence of the Lord as we interact with each other and as we talk about the goodness of the Lord. And also to witness the confirmation of these people who have been duly prepared for that. You, my brothers and sisters, let this day be engraved in your hearts as a special moment. The lessons you have had leading to this day should be a constant reminder of your identity in the church. We pray that you hold fast on to the faith in which you are going to be confirmed and let Christ. Be at the center of your lives. In his remarks, Bishop Luwalira sincerely appreciated the school for serving with him throughout the years. He also prayed for a peaceful transition while getting his successor. For the last 14 years, the Lord has given us to serve with you. I and my wife and our children, we have been so humbled by your patience, love, and commitment to work with us and to serve with us. So I stand here to thank you sincerely for the opportunity you have given us to serve with you. We are in your Representing the Chairman Board of Governors, Katende Jimmy Rogers, noted that this was Bishop Luwarira's last visit to King's College Budo. The bishop, according to the communication from the chairman, has a mandate to nominate representatives of the church on the board, which he is yet to do. This confirmation service is also the last confirmation service by Bishop Gloria Chicho, a sitting bishop of Namibia Diocese. On this confirmation day, we express our appreciation for the work and the service you have given to, to us over the years. As you conclude your service as patron of KCB, you still have the task of nominating the five representatives of the church to the new board of governors that will take over from the current board. Be a bishop. I thank you for the trust you have had in laymen to lead the board of governors during your time as bishop of Namibia Diocese. I pray that you maintain this as you nominate the new chairperson of the board of governors. The head teacher King's College Budo, Kazibwe John Fred, appreciated the bishop's cooperation with the school throughout his service. Kazibwe pledged continuous support in fulfillment of what the vision bearers of the Mate School had years back. To thank God and praise Him for the continuous and commendable service. We have stood out as an inspiration and encouragement to us in exhibiting principles of commitment and willingness. We thank you for always exhibiting humility that enables us to relate with you really. We can cooperate. We shall endeavor to continue serving elementary and building on the foundation laid by our forefathers. On behalf of the students, Kalule George Wilson, the head prefect, appreciated the bishop for always visiting, praying, supporting and loving the school. You have been a great steward to the children of the nation as well, supporting both the culture and the culture, and uplifting the morals of our country, which is the future that is standing tomorrow. We are filled with joy because of the hope you have instilled in our faith. Millions of service have been ever so many. Thank you. As a school, we wish you the best of your retirement come December. It should be noted that the Rate Reverend Wilbur Foskitiol Walida will retire on 8th December as he clocks 65 years of age, which as per canons of the Church of Uganda calls for retirement from the diocese and overseer seat. Luke Alenaitwe, for Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.